Hey there, do you recognize these? These are stringing beads, and they are one of the oldest and most utilized toddler toys around. They're available everywhere from the Charlotte Mecklenburg Library branches to Montessori preschools, and they are absolutely awesome for early childhood development. So let's get sciency for just a second. Stringing beads help with fine motor skills like dexterity and hand-eye coordination, as well as the super fancy sounding bilateral hand coordination, which is when kids utilize the dominant hand as the tool controller and the non-dominant hand as the assistant. They help develop visual perception skills and they strengthen finger muscles, which has benefits for pre-reading and for art activities. And plus, the practice of pushing something through something else is a pre-dressing skill needed for stuff like shoelaces and buttons. Now you can coach kiddos as young as 12 months through threading activities, but if you're starting with a toddler and you're worried about choking hazards maybe, or if the size of that bead's tiny hole is just too small for their hands and will frustrate your little one, then I'm going to show you right now how to make your own stringing beads for very young hands. All you need is a pool noodle, a knife, glue, and yarn. All right, so what you are going to do is you are going to use that knife to cut the pool noodle into half inch or quarter inch discs. And so you want those discs thick enough that they're going to be durable, but thin enough so that your kiddo is not going to have to push the strings too far through a hole. So these are your beads. And next you're going to cut about mm, a foot and a half of yarn. Okay, take one end of that yarn and dip it in a clear school glue. And then you can squeeze off the excess and let it dry. And at the end it will be a sort of stiff safe needle that'll be much easier for your kiddos. Tie the other end of that string to a single disc and then you can let your stringing begin. Children do have to be taught how to push the string through and then grab it with the other hand. That is an incredibly complicated set of movements for tiny hands. So make sure that you do sit with your kiddo for a while until they get the hang of it. And you know, hey, if they just like the feel and the texture of the pool noodle and they wanna spend the next 10 minutes throwing those beads up into the air and having them all land on their head, then I mean, that's gross motor development. So self five. And there you have it. So enjoy your homemade stringing beads and all of their many benefits. And on behalf of the Charlotte Mecklenburg Library, go forth and giggle.